Hello and welcome back to another video here with Mimioni for Final Fantasy XIV. Today saw the EU data center split take full effect after a massive period of downtime for maintenance that I could barely deal with. I just didn't know what to do with myself. However, if you log into Final Fantasy XIV today, you will notice that on the data center select screen that Chaos and Light have their respective servers assigned and the data centers for the most part so far seem stable. Bear in mind there is no difference between the centers technically, as both are still hosted in Frankfurt, Germany, so there shouldn't be any latency differences or anything like that. The limitations then, as you may no doubt imagine, this means you can no longer play with people on servers that are not part of your data center. So if you previously had a static, say, with members from Zodiac and Ragnarok, you will have to transfer servers to continue that group as cross data center play is not currently possible. In accordance to this split, three transfers are available. To do this, you simply log into your Monk Station account, select the Additional Services button, choose the Submit Server Application, choose your server and your designated server, confirm which character is going to be transferred, and it should say Payment Fee 0.00. Bear in mind you will only be able to transfer one character to the designated server if you're on the basic entry level subscription. If you want to have more than one character on a server, you will actually need to pay for the extra slots with the upgraded monthly subscription, which does allow for up to eight total characters per server. So an important thing to note is that there is a three day cooldown for the next free transfer for each character during this free period. This free transfer period does end on April the 15th, so you will need to be sure where you're sending your characters before then, ideally. Whether the language of some players is a potential reason for your transfer or ultimately wanting to play with your friends from other servers that perhaps got taken away to you due to this split, we'll need to see what impact this ultimately has on cross-server gameplay. Eureka, for example, is a good contention point. I highly doubt that much will be affected, but there is, of course, a much smaller player base to engage with per center. So at this point, it's quite impossible to guess, but if I was to guess, I would say that very little is going to change from this. Either way, hopefully you understand the basics of the split, let me know where you intend to play. Myself, I will be continuing my adventures on Ragnarok on the Chaos Data Center, so if you perhaps want to join in for Shadowbringers with me, there's plenty of room in my FC. Thank you all kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.